Biden countering Islamophobia while incinerating Gaza is the most Democrat thing ever. And what is arguably the most liberal thing ever to have happened in all of human history, the Biden administration has announced its plans to develop a U.S. national strategy to counter Islamophobia, even as it helps Israel massacre Muslims by the thousands in Gaza. For too long, Muslims in America and those perceived to be Muslims, such as Arabs and Sikhs, have endured a disproportionate number of hate-fueled attacks and other discriminatory incidents, reads a White House statement on the announcement. We all mourn the recent barbaric killing of Wadia al fayume a six-year-old Palestinian-American Muslim boy, and the brutal attack on his mother in their home outside Chicago. This comes as the death toll from the U.S.-backed bombing campaign in Gaza nears 10,000, including 3,760 children, in what experts and authorities around the world are describing with increasing frequency as a genocide. If these people were Jewish instead of Muslim, they would not be trapped in a giant concentration camp where the IDF hammers them with a nonstop barrage of military explosives. But because of their ethnicity, they are subjected to this horror. There's a classic meme which makes fun of the way U.S. foreign policy under Democrats is the same murderous foreign policy as it is under Republicans, but with a bunch of woke-sounding bumper stickers slapped on the surface to make it palatable for progressive sensibilities. And I'll just, just describe it here. It's a picture of a warplane dropping bombs that says Republicans. And then another one with a warplane dropping bombs that says Democrats, only it's got a sticker of a Black Lives Matter and Yes She Can and a rainbow flag on it. Can you think of a better illustration of the dynamic that's highlighted by this criticism than what we're seeing from the Biden administration today? This is, after all, the same administration whose Defense Department recently said they are putting zero limits on what Israel may or may not do with the weapons it's being given by the United States. We are not putting any limits on how Israel uses the weapons that is provided, Deputy Pe Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh told the press on Monday. That is really up to the Israel Defense Force to use and how they are going to conduct their operations. But we are not putting any constraints on that. As in these Times reports, this same administration is also trying to get permission to conduct arms deals with Israel without congressional supervision, in complete secrecy and without accountability to the voting public. The U.S. government is every bit as culpable in the massacre of thousands of Muslim children as Israel, because this entire massacre is happening with both its assistance and its express permission. But here is its government pretending to care deeply that one Muslim child was killed by an Islamophobic psycho in America. This is everything that's disgusting about the Democratic Party. It puts a warm, friendly face on the most murderous and tyrannical power structure on earth, posing as a defender of marginalized groups while dropping bombs on the most marginalized populations on this planet. It selects a high number of women and racially diverse officials for its cabinet positions to convey the illusion that it has transcended the abusive bigotries of the past, while subjecting impoverished brown-skinned foreigners to a non-stop barrage of high-tech explosive munitions and massacres that would be the envy of the worst white supremacist imperialists in history. A much more accurate image for the United States than the one it tries to give itself with its fraudulent progressive virtue signaling would be the one it was given by protesters who interrupted Secretary of State Antony Blinken's testimony before the Senate Appropriations Committee on Tuesday. Demonstrators painted their hands red to show the blood this administration has on its own hands, resulting in viral images of Blinken's face surrounded by bloody hands circulating all over the Internet. That's what the U.S. empire really is. Not the liberal bastion of human rights it presents itself as, but a blood-spattered psychopathic murder machine which maintains its domination of this planet with the nonstop butchery of human beings. The longer the massacre in Gaza goes on, the more people are catching a glimpse behind the plastic smiley face mask of the U.S. empire and seeing the cold-eyed killer underneath. <laughs>